It's time for Coffee with Corey, brewed in part by Kroger. Well, you know, when Kanji is out, we always ask Todd to come over on the red couch for tea with Todd because you're going to be spilling the tea on so many different subjects. What you got? There is, and I hope everybody at home has some kind of nice hot drink as well, whether it's the coffee, whether it's the tea, or whether it's mimosas or whatever. Mimosas it is. with Max. Yeah, that happens yeah. sometimes too. Well, I have to tell you, reaction to Tuesday's elections have been, well, all over the place in the aftermath, but in Delaware, the candidates actually come together to bury the hatchet, literally. It's a state tradition that stems back to the late 18th century. Take a look. According to DelawareOnline.com, on what is called Return Day, Republicans, Democrats, and everyone in between drop the labels and the animosity if only for a few hours. In Georgetown, officials hold a hatchet-throwing contest, and then there's a parade with some candidates riding side-by-side -side in sports cars or <laughs> horse-drawn carriages. Then after the certified election results are read, they all come together to actually bury a hatchet in sand from an area beach. And then it ends with food, of course, a feast of open pit barbecue beef sandwiches. I have a feeling that's what everybody comes for, actually. They probably like come for the food. food and they go, we're going to put up with the rest of this nonsense until we can get to the food part over here. But, but bearing the hatchet, I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that I is, really am. It's that's a, cool. It's a cool idea, especially this go around, because yeah. there are so many elevated tensions and feelings on both sides that mm -hmm. it's going to take a while. Everybody just needs to... <sighs> take a deep it, breath. What does Taylor Swift say? Got to calm You need to calm down. down. That's what it is. <laughs> You're being so, too loud. <laughs> <laughs> South Carolina's low country on the lookout for some um, escapees this morning. Probably not the kind you're thinking, though. Local police chief there says there's almost no danger to the public after, you ready for this, 43 monkeys escaped from a compound earlier this week. And take a peek. Eyewitnesses have captured some video of those primates running around. Authorities say the caretaker in charge of the monkeys apparently failed to secure some doors, and they decided we're going for a walk. The Alpha Genesis facility says the animals have not been used in testing. They're too young to carry a disease. Crews are working to trap them with food, and the public has been told to, well, close their windows and doors and call 911 if they happen to see a monkey running around anywhere out there. I, I understand they're about the size of a cat. So yeah. it's like they're not huge, and it doesn't look like they're going to cause too much concern, like, oh, my gosh. But do you think that the monkeys all got together and were like, hey, we're making a break for it. That's right. Follow me. Let's go. Shh. Let's go. Shh. Shh. Let's Let's go. go. We're out the door right yeah, now. Right. Yeah. Let's so, get out of here. And that's, I was seeing something earlier that that's what happened. The caretaker, like, somebody left the door open and they used this term. Everyone looked at each term, other like, let's They used this term, monkey see, monkey do. And they apparently had saw the caretaker going in and out. And they said, we're going to give this a try and see what go. happens. So anyway, I'm sure they will be. Once they get hungry enough, they'll come back, right? There you go. Maybe. Coffee with a view taking on a whole new meaning with this next story. Stop what you're doing. Take a look. Oh, I don't know about this. For around 56 U.S. dollars, visitors to a rural cafe, we're in southeastern China, by the way, can enjoy a hot beverage with a side of death-defying surroundings. And that's because once you get your drink, you'll sip it from a wooden bench about 229 feet above the ground. CNN reporting that visitors to that cliffside cafe have to climb down from 426 foot cliff. That's about 43 stories high along a route with metal rungs secured to the rock face. Thrill seekers have flocked to the spot since it opened on October 1st. By the way, that $56 package also includes insurance, <laughs> safety gear <laughs> rental, a drink, a coach to guide them, and what's being called a rather unique filming experience because it looks like somebody brought their drone with them, right? Wouldn't your drink have not been hot by the time you got there anyway? So right. it's like, and I it's don't also, is it coffee or do you need something a little extra to have the courage to do that? I would think somebody's drinking Red Bull right about right. then just to be going, okay, we're going to do this. That makes me a little nervous. That makes me a lot nervous. Okay, okay so we're so not going to sign up for that. Yeah, they can, and we just saw the pictures, and that's good enough for me. Same. Uh, it looked like they were having a good time. <laughs> You Thumbs guys you just charge on. You have a great time out there. We're going to drink our coffee and our tea right here on the set. Todd, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh, okay, well, we'll be, we will be right back.